answers to find this evening. Ready. Let's see what he can produce. Karaz Rob to have been able to unpick Medvedev in the fashion that he has because let's be honest he's won by a decent margin he on both occasions it's not really even been close so well is he's got the ability to really keep Medvedev honest. He can serve and volley, therefore take away his ability to neutralize the first serve that Medvedev does so well. So he serves and volleys and takes that away from him. If Medvedev drops it short, he's then got the firepower to hurt Medvedev with the first shot. And the third factor being that when 13, Daniel 15. stands so deep in the rallies, the drop shot is one of Alcaraz's best shots. And once again, he just pulls him out of his comfort zone and into the forecourt with the drop shot. So he's got a lot of things in his game that are like kryptonite for Medvedev. having a look at some of the numbers and the patterns of play prior to coming on air in Indian Wells and I thought he dropped way too many first serve returns short did Medvedev Juan Carlos Ferreira he really has been a voice of reason hasn't he in guiding this man to the top of the sport It's the first one. The mere fact that Alcaraz was serving and falling got into the head of Medvedev, just got into his eye line. Alvaro, bottom right in the red, is the older brother just behind him in the white Nike shirt, is young Jaime. He's been cleaning up at under 12 level in Spain. to fight for the spoils again. Stop it. Early doors, the athleticism. The artistry, Love. 15. the execution. He's changed the grip nice and early so he can cut the racket head in order to create the angle. percent of the points so his strike rate when moving forwards has been exceptional now Caraz generally the case isn't it
Have we seen a little more purchase on the Medvedev forehand this year? He's talked about the change of strings, hasn't he? And maybe that's perhaps facilitated just a little bit more juice on the shot. Is it something you've seen? He wasn't sure about it initially, though, was he? He had a slow start to the year. He was almost going down first round in Rotterdam. I think it was against Davidovich Fakina. Memory serves. Oh. Let's turn that around. And then from then on, he has been quite extraordinary. But yeah, he's spoken about the string change. It just feels like he's getting a, a bit more explosiveness out of the strings, elasticity. That shot's going to have to operate. The effectiveness of the first serve. So far, it has been perfect when he has made it. But unfortunately, he's only made 40% of them. Still early doors. That was a big problem when they played in Indian Wells, his ability to defend his second serve. He didn't do that well at all. Too many double faults. Gilles Savara, wearing his New York Rangers cap, still undefeated. Oh. That cap is. <laughs> I'll tell you the story behind that in a moment. Of course, it was the hat that he wore throughout. Daniel's run to the 2021 title and hasn't been worn since, Nick. So he's brought it out this week. There it is. And next to Eric Hernandez, strength and conditioning coach. And I think a lot of people will point to that kind of rally and say... Yes. Daniel's ability or inability to finish regularly at the net against the guy who moves as well as Alcaraz is always going to be a problem. Because Alcaraz is going to chip the ball back and play. Alcaraz forehand is, Nick. I think that's the one side. If you rush him, because he is so aggressively minded, he doesn't like to back down on the forehand, and he will continue to go for it. Um, and he can make a fair few unforced errors off that forehand wing. There's nothing unforced about that. That is as good as it gets. Measured to perfection. Oh. Oh. Two second serves going out to that forehand side in this game, aren't they? Has struggled to defend the second serve, not just against our cross, but at this tournament as well. His numbers are low by his standards. Points one behind his second. Oh. There it is again. And Indian Wells going back to that match because it's yes. relevant on a hard court. Medvedev only won 41% of the points behind his second serve, Nick. Yeah, and he's at an identical number here for the tournament. So an opening hold. Oh, 
the champion One here two years ago. Important, obviously important you feel he stays with him in these early stages, Rob, given how tough it's been for him this season against Alcaraz. Yeah, totally, Nick. In a match of this magnitude as well. Just want to grow that belief. He's spoken about the fact, and so has his coach, Gilles, about he needs to play a 10 out of 10 match. In fact, an 11 out of 10 match. Most players hit their best drop shot off the backhand side because that's where the most natural feel is. For Alcaraz, it's the forehand wing. And what makes it so doubly effective is that you have to be on your heels because if he wants to tee off on the forehand, you've got to watch out for the pace. Medvedev's turn just to try and take up a slightly more aggressive court position. 40, 15. Well, he did take it physically, didn't he? Two days ago against Rublev. In absolutely brutal conditions. Too good. 13 wins, just two losses. It's a very famous music producer. Oh, now there's one of my all time favorites. John Bon Jovi, of course, a New Jersey 30, 30. boy. Not too far away, loves his tennis. Good friends with Cam Norrie. We've seen him at a, a couple of events this year. He was in Miami. Prior to the drop shot was excellent. Sadly, the drop shot didn't live up to standards. 15 40. 
Yeah, it's not easy to hit a drop shot off a high shot. Well, naturally, it's going to come up high off your strings. Pfft. Ability to time it well is not easy. Early test for Medvedev. He's got to up that first serve percentage pronto. 14, 14. Even with that first serve, it's still sitting below 40%. Second serves all the time, it's like playing tens out of the hand. Oh. Yeah. Long loose mistakes though off that forehand return. Yes. Just rushed himself a little. Steady diets of second serve to that region. That's just what you want to see if you're Medvedev. Game. That Medvedev. is exceptional. Medvedev finds his way out of some difficulties. Two in all. US Open. A reminder to head there. Follow us on all social media channels. We're across them all. So much good content to get your teeth into there. All the post-match interviews from our first semi-final as well. Some nice comments I've just seen from Ben Shelton in particular. Is a tried and tested method. Yeah. 15 left. Nick Kyrgios showed us how to do that last year. Yeah, I thought that was the next best match of the season when he beat Medvedev in Canada. Went to that place so consistently, didn't he? Yeah. Then, of course, he did it to him here as well. 15 more. We were courtside, weren't we? It was outstanding, that match. And you do kind of wonder how much that impacted Medvedev, those two defeats, yep. as a knock-on effect for the rest of the season, don't you? Chipped away at his confidence. the play again. 13-15. As well as Medvedev has done here, he just felt Alcaraz was always in control of the point. And just that little sneak forwards there, isn't it? Takes that ball down the middle, totally out of play. Oh. Pure class. Just 14, the vision, 15. the tactical acumen. You know, taking pace off the serve, hitting the heavy kicker, which allows him time to get forward, close down all the gaps, make that volley simple. Again. Once again, his pursuit of the net, very and obvious. Alcaraz up 3-2 in the first back. Prizes have been spread around a lot here at the US Open in recent years. And given we've been speaking about some certain volley, I think the time before that was a certain volley of note. Mm, Pat Rafter, was it? Yep. In the 97 and 98, the Aussie defended his title. Deep 
15 Medvedev more. stands in the court. This is the, the power that the Spaniard possesses. He hasn't quite hit through him, but he has got him on the move. He's actually getting a good number of unreturned serves so far. The first set potentially may be low, but there are some free points on offer right now. Gonna need lots of them, Nick, I think, tonight. Yep. Already five double faults. Medvedev. Excuse me. It's Medvedev there. Just offset by the one ace. Medvedev is not dialed in. Doesn't seem like Alcaraz has quite found the range on his forehand yet. Yeah, it's all six unforced have actually come off that forehand side so far. Got him on the spin. Just still the headers on contact. Spacing between himself and the ball. Federer-esque, isn't it, yeah. in terms of that contact? The straight arm, the elbow is straight on contact with the ball. And there. It's, it's, it's no coincidence, Nick, that some of the biggest forehands we've seen in the game all have that straight elbow on contact. Juan Martín del Potro, Federer, Nadal. Mm -hmm. Fernando Vadasco. Hey. Oh, they were all in the industrial sort of category, uh, weren't they? <laughs> Certainly were. And dangerous. <laughs> Largely untroubled on Servo so far is the defending champion. Firmly on his dial. When he is out there, win or lose at times. Yeah, you had a great way of describing him earlier in the week, I remember, Rob, in terms of the relaxed nature he deals with pressure. It was a lovely. Description. Yeah, I like to call it relaxed concentration. And I think it doesn't take as much emotional energy out of him because he, he does concentrate so easily, Nick. Whereas I feel with a lot of other players on tour, concent concentration is, is really purposeful. Yeah, Andre Rublev, the first person that springs to mind as a, as a kind of the other end of the scale. Ladies and gentlemen, please, as a courtesy to both players, do not use flash photography. This is very disturbing to the players. Thank you very much. Oh. To be 
Fedor Alcaraz is the exception rather than the rule in that regard, isn't he? It's a triple zoomer, this one. 30 and he is a great athlete for somebody as tall as him. Just a couple of mils out. Four, in fact. I remember when he, when he beat... 14, 13. Even though Novak was tired, given all the tennis he had played to get to the final. The serve of Medvedev was devastatingly good. Please. Just like that. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Game, Medvedev. Well, that was nice from Medvedev, Nick. Yeah, a couple of very composed volleys, particularly the second one here, because this was good. Akras has asked him a tough question here. Percent. He's come up with a good answer. And what I loved about the first volley was that he didn't try and hit it for a winner. It was just about improving his position in the rally. And that second volley was so good. Akras's body position was actually just wrong because he wasn't expecting the volley to be so good. That's why the improvisation to take place. What about the net points one for Ocares? He's been in 15 times. He's won 15. Even with my maths, I know that is a perfect score, 100%. Without really having to hit a particularly tough volley, Robin, yep. that's what's so defining at times in this matchup. <laughs> Remarkable defense from Daniel Medvedev. Ultimately, though, in vain. Was he being a little too nice here, Nick? Does this one not need to go through Ocarez's chest? 30 love. That was pretty impressive. Yeah, he had to contort his body to actually make an angle, didn't he? When the ball down the middle was there for the taking. So important when Alcaraz is not serving and volleying that he gets decent length on it. Oh. Oh, we're on the borough of Queens here. Yeah get the feeling that Medvedev is returning from downtown Manhattan. That's how far back he is. Five and a half, six meters on occasions behind the baseline. Brilliant finish, particularly after the slip. That's some recovery. Because normally players have success at similar tournaments. They go back to the same place and do well and win there. Yeah, the vast majority of those wins coming on this very surface, Nick. Yeah. No player since 2018 has won more matches on a hard court than this guy.
saw a slight shift. Uh, Price just taking that second serve return a little bit earlier, but as a result of not doing enough with it, just left himself a little out of position. Daniel's wife, Daria, and of course his long-time agent, Oli van Lindonk. He was a big Bruce Springsteen fan, to see both of the boss's concerts. Five in all, The last couple of days, just across the road in New Jersey, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that, seeing the boss in his hometown. Maybe Bon Jovi, he's also a Jersey boy. Turn. was outstanding and really did set the tone for the rally. Love it, I think it's a good matchup. That Medvedev backhand down the line to Alcaraz's forehand. Flattening it out. Tempting Alcaraz to go after it. Thank you. First time, I think, Rob, that he's won the opening point on the Alcaraz serve as yep. well. And of course, uh, we know that's a big switch in the ability of the returner to break. It increases their chance here at the US Open by 27% when they win the opening serve point against the server. Oh. And of course, that number goes up. Uh -huh. A little more when you win the second. Okay, so Nico Helworth's on the case, just trying to get these lights turned off. Exactly see where they are, but uh, hopefully we can get that fixed. Alcaraz doing a very good job of prevailing in it as well. This is holding up, Rob. Well, ultimately, it was a show-stopping forehand, but he manages the forehand so well in the rally initially. That's the key part, Nick. Loaded up with spin and then vaporized it. It's a big point in the context of this opening set. Just 
It's a little bit of luck there for that to catch the line. So a well-struck return. Yeah, I mean, he is so far back and he hits it so flat that the, the sort of margins are so tight there, aren't they? Touch of class. Still perfect in the full court. Well, the concerning thing from Medvedev there was he actually saw him coming. He shifted to his right. He knew the serve was coming, and he still couldn't counter it. Turn yet, is he? And you can see there he's just frustrated at his inability to make more of an impact. This is Alcaraz stays in the rally with reflexes that are out of order. Love. He is everywhere. Yeah. Fifteen breathtaking shots. very hard to take your eyes off Carlos Alcaraz, isn't it? What next? That's the way to bring the mood down. Yeah, if you're Danny Ahmed, but that's exactly what you want to do. Tactical and valiant, eh? First set, Come on, Come on, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. Come on. I think after... A slow start on serve. Medvedev's definitely found some rhythm on it. Alcaraz's tiebreak record this season has been exemplary. Yeah, just the one here at the US Open for Alcaraz. Of course, that came against Lloyd Harris in the second round. game. The drop shot, the four A's forward, the seven folly. Sparsely populated. Oh. It's never been
been a guy who travels with a big entourage. He's bringing the heat on that second serve as well, isn't he? As well over 100 miles an hour. First time he's really had to hit a, a challenging volley off the serve. Yep. And he's come up with the goods. The technical ability is so good. zip on the forehand that really did showcase itself nicely there what a combination of forehands as well nick the Alcaraz camp looking a little uneasy and rightly so Attempted that shot. But that one wasn't even close. Shot selection. Five, three, Medvedev. Most players make better reflex volleys off the backhand side. So if you can get the forehand shoulder or even forehand hip area, you're in business. And there was a little bit of doubt, wasn't there, from our crowds as to whether the ball was going to drift wide. Yep. Good spot, Nick. Again, it's the forehand, Nick. Six, that three, has been the Achilles in this opening set, both on the return of serve and occasionally off the ground stroke. Oli van Linden looking perhaps for some divine intervention here. Medvedev with a handful of set points here. Takes it at the Seven, first time of asking. Daniel Medvedev has the defending champion in a little bit of trouble. Please, especially in the back of the court, take your seats. We are ready for play. So, Daniel Medvedev just being held up momentarily as some of the locals make their Maybe way back to their office. seats. Start the second. And we can look at statistics all day long. I certainly don't tell the whole story, but one that stands out to me is the unreturned serve number, Rob. Yep. 
Medvedev in the opening set hovering around the 40% mark of unreturned serve. That's a lot of free points coming his way. Yes. And a good mix of first serves that were accurate, not well returned, but also I think we both agree that Alcaraz donated too many second serve returns on the forehand, didn't he? Yeah. to add to his tally. This which corner makes the is attacking with great regularity. And he guessed it. Carlos's his mum and dad, Virginia, Carlos Senior. <laughs> Bring in a certain volley. I wonder if we're going to see even more of it in the second set. Serving volley, serving come in, I should say. Yeah, got the old topspin volley out there, didn't he? Yeah. Speaking of Pat Rafter, yes. I think he perfected it. It was John Fitzgerald who invented it. Concern look on that. himself was Alcaraz's father never really had the resources financially to kick on in his career have come off that side almost feels like a little bit more Open arms. 
Virginia and Carlos Senior. Be very proud of their son. bit of improvisation wasn't it off the return and you know, what he did to somehow manufacture some length on it and the alarm bells for Alcaraz are just getting a little louder here Actually, think he's seen a chip return all match, has he? And I wonder if actually it was the spin on the ball that almost impacted the, the mistake as well. Great improvisation. I was just having that discussion yesterday with uh, one of my friends who's a good college coach and how often the great returners go to that play to keep the ball alive. Let's preserve. Thank you. Djokovic will use the block return about 20% of the time in a match. Yep. <laughs> Medvedev not a whole lot in truth. Pretty hard to chip it from 25 feet behind the baseline, isn't it, usually? A little lost. And he's got all the answers. More magic from Medvedev here in New York. Well, we've spoken about the skill set of Alcaraz, but this is a bit of wizardry of his own from Medvedev. Sublime feel. He's won 14 of the 18 points played in the second. Serving Thank you. down the set and a break. Oh, it was 
Jill Savara, who said you need to play like a superhero to beat these top two. I'm not quite sure he's at that level, but he's not too far off at the moment. <laughs> he did. What's causing these mistakes? I mean, is it a simple case of he's just not feeling the ball tonight? What's Medvedev doing to create these problems? I think Medvedev's made him feel uncomfortable by hitting a lot more to the forehand side. I think he's been playing out of that corner of the court a lot more than what he has from his backhand corner, Nick. And I'm just wondering if he's feeling somewhat discombobulated as a result of it. I won't ask you to spell that. 15, I won't. Just another word for confused, out of sorts. It's an app word, though, isn't it? Yeah, because it that's is. how it looks. Yep. Fabulous return from Alcaraz. Once again, coughing up the mistake. Treading a fine line here. of Nick. Almost had too much time on that backhand pass. But this disadvantage that Alcaraz is facing here yes. could be a blessing in disguise because of the psychological impact it could have if he can just hang on to his serve here. Then he's still just the one break behind and, and Medvedev could be thinking, well, two sets, two breaks up, should be two sets to love up for me. not have played it any better. And this and is beyond special. The feel is something else. And what a time to produce it, Nick. A big time play on a big time point.
got to say, his forehand tonight has been excellent. And he's been having the ability to control the point with it. He's done just that. Yes. He's done such a good job of going with pace consistently into that forehand wing of Alcaraz and then just every now and then mixing it up, Nick. Kevin Durant in the house. Jared Leto on the left, the actor. Intelligent tennis. Put an asterisk alongside that game. Two break points to go up, a double break. The set is over, but now it is very much alive, Nick. Alive and kicking. You've got a usopen.org. You can stay connected by all the social media channels. Across everything that's happened today. In fact, Djokovic, of course, into the final, making all four major finals this season. The third time in his career he's been able to achieve that. And then suddenly that forehand on the line becomes so much more effective because Alcaraz is anticipating the one cross court. But to me as well, it also feels like because the potency of the serve is a little better. Yes. the fact that Alcaraz isn't returning quite as well tonight because of that is allowing him to take up a, a better court position at times in some of the rallies early on. I can tell you that Medvedev hasn't lost a single point on serve in the second set. He's played 10, he's won 10. of the former world number one. It's not happening for his charge right now. Oh. Oh. Half volley pick up. And that was a rather ragged end to the game for Alcaraz. Just how formidable he can be. the best match from Kyrgios last year to beat him here. I thought next best match of the season against Medvedev. Of course, he beat him in Canada. But, uh, that was early on. He caught Medvedev cold, but the one here was proper. South African. Is that Charlize Theron? I think it is. 
going to be up to speed with the celebrities in this show, haven't you, as well? I thought we were just tennis commentators. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's caught him cheating. Closed the net down. He wanted to make the volley easy for himself. 13, 15. <laughs> That's no moy. That's no moy is what she's thinking in Afrikaans. That's nice. That's very nice. <laughs> so many famous faces come to be part of this great event. Perfect point. As an illustration of how good Alcaraz is out of his backhand Thank corner versus the, the forehand corner. He's dominating the point out of his backhand corner. And straight away it's neutralized by Medvedev off the forehand wing. Just look at the points one on serve in this set alone. Medvedev 100%, Alcaraz now below 50. And his struggles continue. It's been a tough evening in the office so far. as well they have been pretty heavy yeah for effect has been high mm. need a lot of product in our hair this week Holtz. some of us have got more than others Intriguing exchange, wasn't it? Because it seemed as though Alcaraz was actually trying to take a bit of pace out of it. Yes. Alcaraz still ahead in those longer rallies, but that's not really been the problem tonight. Emphasize enough that Advantage. the importance of getting the double Advantage. break from a mental point of view. I mean, as strange as it sounds, if Kores can get out of this fix here, it 
just might actually work in his favor that he's had so much adversity because Daniel knows two sets to love up if he gets the double breaks almost a guarantee look at the serving position here And he knows it. Medvedev A moment leads. of magic from Five Medvedev. To one, second set. It's a miraculous get on the backhand. It teases its way past El Caraz. A big time play when it mattered most. How do you like that? And I can only reflect, Rob, when I see something like that. How often Alcaraz over the last enough. year has been able to produce that sort of shot against the opposition. Too true, Nick. Remy Malik enjoying the spectacle. Tell you what, it has been a tactical masterclass from Medvedev from three all in the opening set. done such a good job of keeping Alcaraz off balance and it's not easy to do that sums up the evening so far 14, that is geometric perfection right there and he's almost been perfect on serve as well Nick yeah, just the one point lost in this set. A set that is almost at its conclusion. Tom Brady in the house. Let's first serve. His sport has actually bought a stake in Birmingham City of all teams in the UK. Game. Second set, it's an imperious display of tennis from Daniel Medvedev, on arguably his favourite court in the world. He's two sets to the good. He will begin set number three. Talked about what's worked for Medvedev, really? what's not worked for Alcaraz tonight. You think obviously the forehand has been a little frail, but are there any other yeah. any elements of his game where you has not quite been on it? 
No, I think that frailty has been big enough. Playing out of his four-in corner, he just hasn't been as comfortable. Like. I mean, I know he's been in 35 times. He's been so successful when coming in. And the only other thing I'd say is, could he have come in more? It's still only one. And I think there's a fellow Spaniard who has been able to grasp that concept better than anyone. I think that's been Nadal's greatest strength as a competitor. The ability to play each point in its entirety and not think too far ahead. Think about what's just happened. two players in the Dahl to have actually beaten Medvedev from the position of being down two sets to love. He did it, of course, in the Australian Open final in 2022. The other player to have beaten this guy from this position was who, Rob Koenig? In he comes, and up goes the roar. Alcaraz seeking a little more love here. Fifteen, thirteen. Well, starting to plug himself into the mains big time now. Once Thank again, you. more success in the forecourt. Good game to win from 15:30 with the crowd energized. And Fedev's just one game more. That's quiet.
again, is it the lower ball? I'm just wondering because the member there back end is so flat. And, yes. and again, the grip is obviously a little further around. It's not getting up a lot tonight. Yeah, and, and when you're so aggressive all the time, Nick, you know, your margin for error is so small. And of course, these courts are a little quicker now. 12 days in, 11 days in. You know, throw in quali qualifying week as well, fan week. This Arthur Ashe Stadium court gets a good work and over. ground of any of the four semi-finalists unsurprisingly Medvedev coming from his starting point so often in the rallies he's deep I'm not surprised I'm not surprised at all that we're seeing more certain volley Nick 30 15 one in the set perfection five of five 32 out of 40 for the match as a whole I just feel Medvedev has gone into beast mode that tennis that we saw him play against Novak when he was being a real thorn in Novak's side. with him on that occasion and again testimony to how devastating he is when he's basing himself out of that backhand corner suddenly he's running Medvedev ragged Wonderful finish. Good. Millions the target. That's such a great initiative. That fan week is uh, the week of qualifying. And, uh, I'm hearing that next year they might extend it by a day, so start qualifying on the Monday. Feels like the US Open is ahead of the curve in that regard, doesn't it? Of the other majors. And of course, it's free to come and watch qualifying. You get to watch all those matches, plus, you get to see all the top players in the world training. The lower bowl was regularly full here when all the top players were practicing. It's Goff and Pagula and Djokovic and Medvedev and Alcaraz. He just stopped moving. <laughs> Medvedev puts his hands to his head. Still work to be done. 
This is better. Fearsome forehand of Alcaraz. Is it finally starting to find its mojo? 14, 13. Oh. That's a much more aggressive attack. The intent was there. Yes. This is a zinger. Almost a copy and paste of the previous pass down the line. He's got it. And he's been able to break him for the very first time this evening. After nearly two hours. Could that be a significant turning point in the second of the semi-finals? And how well did he put on the brakes there, Nick? And then you give him time on the ball, and as Daniel so often does it, Ned, he overcommits. Thank you. KD enjoyed the view. Make sure you get up to speed with everything that's happened here at the US Open today at usopen.org. The scoring, the highlights, catch up on all the draws. So much to get your teeth into there. So follow on all the platforms as well, social media. Can feel it, can't they? Love. Dripping with quality in the last five minutes or so. Look at the difference there. Mm Transformation. And what a tear he's on here. Yeah. He started to dial the forehand in beautifully. That one down the line. It's one of the toughest passing shots to defend on a well struck pass down the line. Because it's the quickest way past the net man. Mm -hmm. 
ends a run of seven straight points for the Spaniard. 14, Builds on his lead. Waltz, please. That's game. Did the average age of the top ten? I was actually looking at the average age of the top ten pre-tournament. Ocarosa's forehand corner. Ocarosa's had one or two good forehands in the set, maybe a bit more, three or four. And I don't know if that's scared off Daniil. Just double checking that with Hawkeye, and there's, there's no question that is indeed the case. Backing up the line and short that. 14, the one short cross court, but couldn't make the most of it. This is a piece of art right there. Tennis artistry at its finest. Love the way he's just slid into that. There are some coaches out there who actually don't like the slide on a hard court, aren't they? They feel as though perhaps it actually limits the time in terms of recovery. I, know, I think Brad Stein is actually of that opinion, isn't he? It uh, certainly seems like the younger generation are 
very instinctive in that regard. Go back to that pattern of play that worked so well from midway through the first set onwards. Just taking that backhand down the line. There's a little sign with regards to where to serve. Yep. It wasn't very subtle. problems. That's our first volley that was. Gave Medvedev the toughest possible pass. Because Medvedev anticipated the serve. That was top tier stuff. Continues to excel in the forecourt, does Carlos. I don't know how he does it. The dexterity in his wrist, Nick. Let's go over the highest part of the net yet still impart enough spin on the shot that it's going to be effective. Because it's not like he hits with spin anyway. So it's yeah. not a particularly a shot that's loaded with left arm, is it? Just weights it so beautifully. Body serve, aiming at the chest. Yeah, maybe. Definitely. Exacting exchange. And it's Alcaraz the first to break. Yes. Just to give you some idea of the, the sort of difference in terms of the contact point, which obviously has its value here, there's about a 15 centimeter difference in terms of the contact point that Alcaraz is making contact on his back and compared to Medvedev. And that is Alcaraz making contact lower down. Yeah, 15 centimetres on average this evening, so far. Yeah, it's given how flat Medvedev hits his ground strokes. <laughs> and especially with the backhand side. Yep. Spot perfectly on the serve, Alcaraz. There's the world number one on the male side.
Serving at 80% first serves in this third set. Isn't there quite the success rate behind it, though? Balls back down the other end and swift style. And the Arthur Ashe crowd once again doing their best to get behind the Spaniard. And keep this competitive. by Andy Roddick in the final here, wasn't he? That's right. 20 years ago. serves Roderick was down match points in the semis against Nopendian. Of course, Alcaraz down match point in the quarterfinals against Senna last year before going on to win the title. Perfect play. And the pattern in this set from the break has been very much trending in the direction of the defending champion. Three set points. A little bit more work still to be done. A couple of meaningful returns. And his last 
chance for now. The defending champion cuts the deficit in half and it's game on on Arthur Ashe. Roger did, but now it's about sustaining it. moment. Three first serves in the game. Okay, keeps those three points. Please. And a high number. Not be much of a drop off in that regard. Still, in fact, around the 40 percent mark of unreturned serves. So, he had a sign for that, I think, at the start. Something said tiebreak record a lot better this year than what it was lost. Deciding set matches last season. Ma this year's matches or tie breaks? Matches. Matches, matches, excuse matches. me. This year's 11 and 3. Yeah. They've been flipped. And when you're winning more matches, obviously in those deep situations, you're feeling better about yourself, aren't you? In fact, I think he lost all three matches at the World Tour Finals and deciding set tie breakers. He did. Wonderful finish. Thought he might be in some trouble backing off. But it was quite the opposite. Yeah, this is mesmerizing and magnificent from Medi. The accuracy, the spin control out of this world. very calculating shots from Medvedev. It's a point that serving ball is so intelligently on the deuce court from the start of the third set. I can hardly think of him losing a point when he has done it.
the intensity of these exchanges you feel are only getting greater. And Alcaraz beginning to win more and more of them. Interesting, the average rally length has crept up quite a lot as well in the last half hour. It was in the kind of mid threes. It's now well over four, four and a half in fact, the average rally length. So, Alcaraz able to extend them. isn't it very early return applying more pressure It's the Spanish way, isn't it, to distribute so much information. We've seen it so often over the years with Spanish players. Obviously, there's a more legal side to it now, but I think it happened regardless anyway, didn't it? Medvedev's second serve right now is being put under the microscope. 14. Well, the crash and rush has worked so well, but it's the hand skills, creativity. Thy name is Carlos. Turn very well to that portion of the court. Just running 125 mile an hour second serve. Unanswerable. Favor. 
And he's made the most of the opportunity. Thank you. Superb. It's all hands to the pump here for Medvedev. Whatever it takes. He's got to survive this game. Yes. Give him a real lift if he can. He's in the trenches, isn't he, at the moment? And he's trying to find a way out. It's such a pivotal part of this match. It's the best feeling, folks, when you hit that serve and you get the unreturned. It's just such a pressure reliever. Could be a very valuable hole for Daniel Medvedev. And you sense he knows it too. It keeps him ahead in the fourth. The unbeaten streak going. Yeah, didn't hit a spot. Didn't have the width. And you pay the price. Nice slap shot of a forehand. was a tough ask at the end of a long run, but he very nearly pulled it off. 15, 15. He's pulled a lot of those off. Well, there's been a real uptick in his forays forward. 14-15. We suggested at the start of the third that we needed to see more of it. And Alcaraz is obliged.
very nicely done. done so well. Yeah. Didn't look like there was a lot of space. But he's just bent this round the corner nicely. Just needed a fraction more depth, didn't he? Ocarez had it covered. Probably improvisation with the grip. An unconventional feeling forehand, old school Conti grip. Well, they're the little bits of kind of ingenuity that are not always obvious, are they? You see all the highlight reels, but the little bits of skill that you've also got to be able to have in this sport. Subtle brilliance. Oh, well watched, well watched. 13. Watch out, this just clips the top of the net and can so easily cause a player to panic, but not Daniil. Kaboom. Miss by as much as some of the others. One just 12 millimeters out. I prefer to see that first backhand go to the Alcaraz forehand. Tony did so well halfway through the first set into the second. Alcaraz defends so well out of that backhand corner. one shot wasn't it off the serve he was able to get Alcaraz into a deep position and that new is an eighth pace of his evening the new balls and will be on their way for his country. And Davis Cup on home soil, part of the team there, the Spanish team. Good. 
A line licking backhand. actually just taking 5% of pace off. He actually gives himself more of an opportunity in that scenario because the ball's not getting to Medvedev as quickly. Yeah, and, and you couple that with the spin he's imparting. It's moving further away from Medvedev as well at that pace, Nick. bit of frustration yes. in that last mistake. He had the stakes, didn't he? 103 miles an hour, I've just been told, that strike. But the radar was well off. into the Alcaraz game. Medvedev with the chance to capitalize. Brother Alvaro. Yeah, I think he was thinking about that return down the line. Always remember that return he hit against Nadal to take us to a fifth set on set point. Tail end of the fourth. Wow. As you suggested, Nick, that lack of pace on that first serve really does help Alcaraz. To get nice and tight to the net. Medvedev's got no pace to work with in the return. Yeah. It just disrupts his timing, doesn't it? So evident there.
backhand down the line has been kryptonite for El Carreras this evening. That one was on a laundry line. What a strike. That ball did not deviate on its path. Unerring accuracy, wasn't it? Able to back it up though. Return to sender with interest. Truly really magnificent. So good. So very good. He is such a skill merchant, this young man. Pure perfection, both in execution and technique. chasing from Daniel Medvedev. Well, I say water covers 70% of the earth. Well, I can tell you the yes. rest of it is covered by Daniel Medvedev. What a mover. some counter because the Medvedev back end once again was probing and it has been problematic Could be to a fourth it. hour yep and we're into a very significant stage of this fourth set as well this could be a a game that carries a lot of weight already this set yes I mean, 
sure I actually like that body surf because I think that's the ball that gets to Medvedev the quickest, Nick. balls that have come back at him off that serve <laughs> I think he's just he's looking for some help from above in this game I think Nick yeah this will be his 30th point on serve already in the set talk about the depth that Medvedev finds off the return it's such a big factor in his ability to then transition up the court isn't it that was near perfect minutes and counting the sixth game of this fourth set Medvedev with another chance to grab it A stroke of a return. They can't believe it. But that beloved backhand has given him a ticket to the big dance, Nick. Tell you how big are the first couple of points of Medvedev's service game right Thank here, you. right now. Ready for play. Thank you. There's a fair few fans that are just walking out of the stadium now, even though it's not a change of ends. Please, ladies and gentlemen, players are ready. Almost Thank in you. anticipation of Medvedev having wrapped this up, Nick. Premature, one thinks. Uh, Very. Fifteen 
Eventually, Alcaraz able to breach the defences, but it took a while. 14, it's been that 15. sort of evening for him. for him when he has been able to execute it tonight. How many returns is he going to be able to get into play here? With Medvedev Thank you. serving Thank you. to shut the gates. Someone is trying to serve out a match. Please. Two missed first serves and two unforced errors. Please, ladies and gentlemen, keep it fair for both players. Thank you. Fifteen Medvedev. There aren't too many players you are back to keep their call in this sort of cauldron, but Medvedev you feel would be one of them. How often we've seen him in these situations. a pass there was a lot of work still 15, to be done 14. it was ripped and it dipped very quickly on the incoming Medvedev for an unreturned serve right now. It's been the one shot that has blown hot and cold tonight. Yes just when he needed it to stay warm it's cold and 
gewinnen. First. has reached boiling point. Oh. Everyone was waiting for a call that never came. Medvedev has got to calm himself yes. down right here, right now. Take a little bit of time. That's exactly what he's done. Two millimeters in the Medvedev forehand. Too big, too strong, and simply too good when match point down. Yes. How about that? Not sure what Medvedev did, but well, the fans seem to have taken umbrage to it. Incredible courage from Alcaraz, wasn't it? What a game this is turning into. time Medvedev at match point and for a third time a slightly questionable decision I mean, he has been normally yes. so good when picking which backhand to take down the line 
He's made two poor decisions with that shot in this game. Sends the defending six, champion three, packing six, six, in New York. What an evening. Medvedev outlasts Alcaraz in four absorbing sets. What a performance, Robbie. Don't ever count this guy out, and especially here in New York.